Hi! Welcome to the headquarters of Laura Mendenhall's Work From Home Studio! I'm just kidding, it's really not that exciting, but I just had a huge aha moment, so stay with me because I have to share this with you because it doesn't happen often. This aha moment, I, I've i been in like mm, this weird emotional funk lately, my poor husband, but I've just been, I told you all yesterday that I mean, I felt I've been feeling really defeated lately, like really internalizing uh, missed goals, and I feel a lot of resistance coming, and I, I just, I feel weird. I don't know if you guys like have big goals, or if you're an entrepreneur yourself, or you just have life and things fly at you. Well, this morning, um, I love on Friday mornings to go look at my online office and do shout outs for the amazing women on our team working so hard. And there are about 22 women last month who achieved this thing called Business Starter where they earned a certain amount of money through helping people. They achieved a certain amount of um, new customers and success club. It's a, it's a great milestone. So I wanted to recognize all of their hard work. And I was looking at their Facebook pages. Mind you, this is in the midst of me literally feeling terrible about myself and beating my head against the wall thinking, I'm terrible when I do. Why can't I break through? There's a wall that I'm behind. I'm such a failure. Like, I am defeating myself by being so negative. Well, I'm scrolling through these coaches' Facebooks, pulling out pictures so I can send them some recognition, some recognition, some congratulations. And Man, there are some incredible women on our team, incredible, talented, inspiring, passionate, driven, just girl bosses on Moxie. And I remember, and ooh, I was scrolling through, and I was like, here, I'm going to do a visual. I was like, ooh, oh, she's good. Oh, just wait, give it two years, girl. You just get wait. Mm. Oh, that's good, too. Oh, that's so good. Oh, and I, I literally thought in my head, she can take her business to the top as long as she doesn't give up. And I was thinking, oh, she's so good. I wonder if she knows how good she is. She is so inspiring as long as she doesn't lose her spunk, as long as she doesn't lose her vision, her why, her passion, her moxie. And as I was saying this about these coaches on my team, I was thinking, hmm, I wonder if anyone has ever said that to me. I, went, I wonder if anyone has ever looked at me and said, she's going to be so good one day as long as she doesn't give up. And a light bulb moment went off. And I thought, I am sitting here seeing such amazing potential in the team that I'm mentoring. And I just and I was saying, don't give up, don't give up, girl. You got this. Push through, push through. I know it might feel weird. Push through. And I need to listen to my own advice because even being in this for almost three years and being a six plus figure earner, um, I have human moments, and this isn't always easy peachy for me. And I am facing something where I'm trying to, um, you know, stretch myself and grow myself and honor my priorities and really cut back on what I only need to focus on. I'm rambling, but here's my point. We need not to feel discouraged or defeated or wake up in the morning thinking I have not I'm, I haven't done enough. I, I don't know what's not working. Maybe maybe they're doing something better than I am and comparing and why why is it what they're doing is being effective and they're getting results and I'm not getting results. And then I remember this analogy. Somebody told me the other week that there is one surefire way that you would be the fastest runner in the world. So if my goal was just to outrace everyone because for me I just want to stay in the game for me I have a vision just to have this be my long-term forever career because I love it with a passion and somebody said you need not to compare yourself or look at the clock you don't need to even worry about what everyone else is doing or if they're advancing or if they're succeeding faster than you because there is one surefire way you will always beat the fastest runner in the world and what is it? And they told me, it's if you never stop moving your feet. It's if you never stop moving your feet. And at that moment, I thought, that's right. I, I will endure. We will have endurance. Laura, I'm going to take it up a notch, honor my priorities, surrender my business and goals to the Lord, and I will never give up because I have a purpose here 
with this business. I have a passion to help people and to serve people and to just relinquish what's in my brain if I feel like it's some value to people, even when I'm feeling fuzzy and foggy. So here's my promise to you. If you have ever felt defeated or discouraged or have been comparing yourself to somebody else that you feel is more successful, remember this. It's not about how fast you get there. It's about keeping your pace. It's about enduring the race. It's about moving your feet forward every single day. I don't care how many people race by me. My goal is to never stop moving my feet. And I'll be honest with you, that's never been tempting to stop or to quit my business because I love it. But I have had many doubts of, Am I doing this like I'm supposed to? Maybe I'm not good at it. Maybe I'm doing all of this wrong. Maybe I am a failure. Maybe I've hit my potential. Maybe I've hit my peak and now I'm on the downslide. I have told myself those things because I am stuck mentally. And so I'm overcoming that. And I'm just thinking, I will never stop running this race. I will beat the fastest runner because I will never give up. I will endure, and I want you to have that same mentality. So the girls that I'm about to recognize on our team, I'm so proud of you. I'm going to go ahead and just be annoying right now for those who are not on our team, but I'm going to just give shout-outs to these women I'm so incredibly proud of. Gretchen, Nancy, Lori, Angela, Elise, Haley, Devin, Ashley, Amber, Julie, Tiffany, Helen, Hannah, Meredith, Chelsea, Amanda, Amber, Jesse, Jessica, Jessica, Carly, Erica, and Kim. You guys are business starters from January, and I am so pleased and proud of you for pushing and going after these crazy, scary, heavy goals. I'm so proud of you for becoming a better person and stronger mentally and physically and emotionally and spiritually because that is what we're doing all together. This is so much more than just a health and fitness business. This is so much more than just monthly challenge groups. This is about life change, and this is about you, you guys, being real through your social media and inspiring me every single day. So thank you because I was looking at you guys stalking you this morning and I was inspired by how you are leading your lives so keep it going do not stop do not think what you're doing is not significant because it is because you lifted me up this morning and you reminded me that as long as I keep my feet moving I will never miss my goals because I will bring my best to the table every single day and that is where I know I will be pleased with myself and I will be honoring to my responsibility that's it. That's it. Happy Friday. What amazing news. Oh, how, how, woo, how exciting to know that that's all I have to do is like to bring my best every single day. That's it. That's it. So I'm going to go bring my best, do my best, grow myself, and get out of my pity party. Sounds good? Peace.